Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how you can design a variable step incremental or uh, decremental uh, counter ensuing link. I have shown in my previous videos how you can design a simple in, uh, increasing and decreasing counter uh, ensuing link. The link for which is above. Please refer to that uh, uh, those videos if you want to understand the steps to design a counter ensuing link in details. But in this video, I will show you how you can design a counter which can be varied. So you will have just one model or one block and you can vary the step by which you want to increase the uh, counter uh, uh, values or you can decrease the counter values. Uh, so for that, there are several approaches in uh, MATLAB or Simulink. But in this video, I'll show you the approach by taking the mask uh, parameter value to do so. I have explained in one of my previous videos in details on masking, how you can mask a particular block and give uh, parameters and values. Again, the link for that video is uh, above. Uh, so I'll just take you, I'll focus on this in this video more into designing the counter and the mask. Uh, by which I will be setting the values of the counter step and increase or decreases as per the need. So let's start. So first I will create a new simulink model and I'll just save it. I'll just variable step increment decrement Counter the name doesn't matter. You can give anything. Yeah. So let's start. So first, let me design a simple counter, which I have also explained in my previous videos. I will highly recommend you to go through that video to watch it uh, in detail because I will not get into detail in this particular video. So first, I'll put a add block. I'll leave the sign as plus plus, and then to increase or decrease, I have to put the constant. The value of that constant for the time being I leave it one and this is what we will play in our uh, in the later part of this video I'll put a unit delay block I have changed to unit delay that is Z minus one and then I flip this video the sign of this I just connect it over here I connect it over here I put a scope to see the values okay and that's it. I think I will keep the initial value of this uh, delay block as 0 and I save it and I run it to see the output. Output comes here. Perfect. Yeah, so you can see this was the simplest way I, could, I, uh, I designed this counter. And, um, but what I will do is I will just change the step size of this uh, counter as I have done in my previous videos as well so that uh, uh, the step size uh, matches my clock time or the simulation time. So I'll change it to fixed step and I'll change to discrete to normal. It doesn't matter, you can just keep it one or that also. And I'll change it to one over here. So again, I played and this time it, yeah. So if you see, for each second, there is one step size because I changed the step size of my simulation model accordingly. Okay, so for 10 seconds it increases for 10 times. So this was the simple counter which I designed in my previous video also. Now let's see how if you want to change the value of this step. Because right now it's increasing by the value of 1 in each cycle. If you want to increase it by 2 or 5 or you want to decrease it. So some of my audience were asking how to do it. So one approach they we are following was they were creating uh, different uh, counters for each of their steps but that's really not required simulink is quite powerful and uh, give an options so there are various options like one option is you can design a variant subsystem options or you can have a reference um, <coughs> uh, subsystems or models options where you can give this uh, value by which you are increasing or decreasing uh, as per your need but in this video I will take you to the masking concept so I will define a mask parameter for this particular uh, block and accordingly I will give a value. Again for the mask you have few options. You can directly uh, double click here and change the value over here. But to make it simpler what I will do is I will just create change this particular counter into a block. I will just make it a simple uh, subsystem. 
yeah and this becomes my counter so probably i can rename it to counter yes you can also create it as like a library block but over here i will keep it simple and then i'll change it to a mask um, uh, I'll, I'll create a mask of this particular block of this uh, subsystem and again i will not go into the details of masking uh, because please watch my previous videos to know all the details of the masking but in this video i'll just create a simple mask parameter called counter step and uh, this is a prompt that means it will come on the mask uh, dialog which I, which will see uh, quite uh, soon once I complete this and this is the variable name so you can leave it the default parameter one but I would like to give it my own name like counter step without any space and all those things of course the default value I will like to probably keep it as one and yeah, I will not give any callbacks and I don't need any callbacks for him I, I will try to keep it simple in this video so if I double click and open so now if you see in this uh, subsystem it opens my mask dialog. This is called mask dialog or mask window. And this is the counter step, the prompt which we gave. And this is the default value which we have given. And this goes and gets stored into the mask uh, uh, variable counter step which we have defined in our mask uh, window. So now if we, of course, if we run it, there won't be any change because we have not used that variable. So to see the effect of that variable, what we can do is in this constant block, we can use that uh, uh, variable that was i think counter step and apply i think it works fine you can verify by going to these three dots and it, it should open the explorer and you can just verify if if the name of the variable is uh, correct and uh, it, it will get a link to over here you can visualize the what is the value of this particular variable right now so you can do this by going to this uh, three dots over here vertical dots and then you can go to the mask uh, counter and uh, yeah you can by this you can see what, what is the value over there okay so basically to do the variable step the key point is we have to set the value of this constant block in our uh, subsystem or our uh, counter and once you have set it so now we have, since the default value is one in, at the top uh, the uh, effect the uh, output will be same in the scope we can quickly run and see there won't be any change yeah that was expected now say for example we change it we want <coughs> a step of two and not of one so i'll just change it to two and i rerun it and this time see if you are able to notice it goes up to 20 now because it's two times in each step and there are 10 steps so 10 into 2 20 so it's it's going two times each time is rising by two even we can uh, create a decreasing counter here just by giving minus one. So instead of going up, this time it will go down. So if you see it's going, it's decreasing. If I again give minus five, it will go, uh, yeah. No. So 10 into minus five, it was minus 50. Yeah, it's, it goes to minus 50. Yeah. So yeah. So this is a simple way how you can design a variable step counter where you can implement both incremental and decremental counter in the same model without creating uh, multiple uh, models or multiple subsystems for to do so and just by using this simple trick of mask parameter you can uh, just uh, play with the incremental and uh, whether you want to increase or decrease the value of this uh, uh, counter yeah Okay, so I hope this video was useful. I will again uh, at the end recommend you to watch my other videos where I have given details on how to design a simple counter and also how to design the mask parameter in detail. And thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please put in my comment section. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and bye.